one of the Miami Heat's weaknesses this season has been their lack of depth in the backcourt. The Miami Heat traded Kyle Lowry for Terry Rozier, and he is now injured, so the Miami Heat may need to sign a free agent. Welcome back to the Team to Beat Miami Heat basketball channel. My name is Amir. Before I get into the video, I just want to thank everybody for their continued support on my channel. It's mean, it means a lot to me. I'm on my path to 1,000 subscribers, so if you could please subscribe to the channel, that would mean a lot to me. So thank you again. So the Miami Heat are possibly interested in signing a backup point guard. That has been an issue for the whole season, essentially, after Drew Smith tore his ACL at the beginning of the year. And we traded Kyle Lowry, our only true point guard for Terry Rozier, who's more of a combo guard. And right now, Josh Richardson, who was kind of playing a backup point guard position, is also injured with a dislocated shoulder. So the Miami Heat are in desperate need of depth. And we also needed that in general before the Terry Rozier and Josh Richardson injury. So um, one player that I've made videos about in the past that has possibly popped up is John Wall. So John Wall is a veteran who is a, a free agent still, and he hasn't played in a year and a half or so, but Wall most recently spent 34 games with the Los Angeles Clippers where he averaged 11.4 points, 5.2 assists, and 41% shooting from the field, 33%, I think, from three. And he was traded from the Houston Rockets, or to the Houston Rockets, but then waived and has not signed with the team ever since. And... I know this is not the greatest option, but you know he's 33 years old. He is still younger than Jimmy Butler and obviously younger than Kyle Lowry, who was our last elder point guard. But he is definitely not as athletic as he used to be, of course. Um, he's a shell of, him, of his former self to a certain degree, especially at his peak. But I think he's someone who could contribute in this Miami system. I think he's a guy that's hungry and eager to play on a contender um, or playoff contending team, I should say, right now, because I don't believe the Heat are a championship contender, contender as of right now. But I think off the bench, Wall's still athletic enough to get to the rim. And I'll put up some highlights in the background um, from when he played most recently with the Clippers. He's still able to get to the rim and finish at the rim. And then, of course, he is still, you know, a good playmaker, was able to get five assists per game in his limited time playing off the bench with the Clippers, you know, as a starter and throughout his career, he averaged almost nine assists per game. So John played 22 minutes per game, which is actually pretty significant. And I don't think he would need to play that much with the Miami Heat. If we were to hypothetically sign him, I think anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes would be good. So for him to get like seven points, a few assists off the bench, I think could be helpful. Um, but either way, he could come in and he's not a defensive liability and he's someone i think who would buy into the miami Heat culture and the system and someone who wants to prove himself and someone who desperately wants to be back in the league he could play that like sixth man well not sixth man but that russell westbrook type of role they're a similar age and a similar type of player i think john wall is a a better three-point shooter in his career let's see john wall was a 32 percent, so not great but he had seasons where he shot and the 36 to 37 range so john wall may come off the bench as a russell westbrook type player for this team that could give us some sort of energy and will be that backup point guard that the miami heat need that might have a little more upside than a jamari bouye who's within our system or possibly like a killian hayes who's like a reclamation project so I know he's not the best fit or the best name, but let me know what you guys think. Do you think John Wall could make sense? Are the Heat desperate enough to do this? Let me know.